Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video, we will learn how to create dynamic and interactive column and donut chart with the help of some awesome Excel available features. And uh, let me quickly take you to the demonstration. And uh, you can apply these kind of techniques when you create your own Excel dashboards or any other kind of uh, dynamic report where you are, where you are required to add some interactive visualization so let's get start first let us understand the data we have here. first understand the data we have year wise individual product sales available and we have also uh, inserted a column for the total so that we can have also analysis that how much total has been done by all the products in that particular year so we have year wise different product sales okay and we have five products product a till product e now we are required to create something uh, dynamic and interactive chart can can be placed in on a dashboard uh, and we will be using two kind of charts together and make them interactive uh, with the help of excel formulas so that they can work on uh, that would be column chart and a donut chart and uh, in this technique in this particular video you will learn a lot of small small techniques uh, as well so let's get start first I, I require the scroll bar so I will go to developer tab and I will insert a scroll bar from the form controls so I will click on a scroll bar and I will draw in on my this particular area now the next part would be uh, I have to count how many years available in my data set so there are total of 14 years available and I will make this object which is the scroll bar linked to that particular cell of the spreadsheet so for doing that right click on the scroll bar go to format control and in the control tab you need to change some of the fields here so for the min minimum here we will set one maximum we will set 14 we have 14 years altogether incremental change of one we will link with a cell which is called um, l3 here and i will press ok so it's successfully creating 14 starting from 1 and till 14 right all right i have also make a a title for the chart which is the dynamic and i have used simply uh, the product wise breakup year which is the uh, constant or the absolute text string in, in the title of that chart and also the index function which will definitely fetch uh, the year particular year based on the selection of my scroll bar as well right so let's start with the second step now once we have inserted the scroll bar we are required to insert two charts the first one is donor chart and the second one is the column chart all right now uh, in the donor chart we 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 will not select this particular data uh, we will select this particular data where we we need to do the additional working and we are required to use the excel function here so in my case i will be using the index whereas uh, if you find any easy solution you can apply that in your case or in your scenario so I need to get these five products data from here but as I told you that we are creating dynamic and interactive chart so what uh, at one time that particular year will be selected from this scroll bar so I need to use a function that it should select that particular year which is selected already selected by the scroll bar right so I will be using the index so equals to index selecting a range of the numbers starting from year 2000 product A and then pro till the product E 2013 making it absolute by pressing F4 key or you can give that entire array a name which is called a name range then the raw number I will give the reference of that particular L3 cell which is connected with the scroll bar um, and then respective column numbers so we know that we have five different products in the five different columns so we need that product A should be fetched from the column 1 and then I will just copy and paste that particular function to the next four products product B, C, D and E 
and uh, as now you can see that every product is being extracting the same number because we are required to change the column number here so instead of one I have to write two here then instead of one again I arrive to three here now you can see that you have five different products and you every time you need to change the column number uh, within this function as well so if you don't want to do that particular manually uh, changing the hard-coded value for the column numbers you can use the columns function in it and that will automatically generate a serial number horizontal wise and then you can uh, you are not required to change uh, every cell modify manually okay so you can do that as well also let me just add here as well so that you can get how we can do that so I will adding the instead of I, instead of manipulating or forming one two three four five every time in the column so I am adding columns uh, you can start with any cell uh, let's say if I start with e3 and I, I also want to end with the e3 as well the first cell would be the absolute and the second would be relative so that it could generate the CL numbers increment by one uh, in each of the column and I copy paste okay so I now I will just copy and paste the entire formula here so now you can see that uh, the columns function within this index is automatically generating uh, the serial number because each of the time when this function has been dragging f f towards the right side uh, the range is being increasing by one okay alright so now let's create uh, a donor chart first here so I will select this particular data set these two rows from product A to product E and then I will go to the insert tab and uh, I will select I will go to all charts and I will search for the donor chart as well yes here it is so I will so I have just created a donor chart now we are required to do some formatting so that it should be in a proper way and uh, okay so we need numbers percentages so I will right click format data labels we are also required to see the values as well and we need to see values and percentage in a new line right uh, we are required the legend on the left side okay uh, we are required to change the chart title so we have already made a dynamic chart title so I will just go to formula bar pressing equal to sign and I will press on M2 cell so now you can see that whenever I just press the scroll bar that particular year number uh, fetch with the help of index and columns function and the donor chart is exactly showing that a breakup of each of the product in that particular year right so that looks cool great now we are required uh, to also create a column chart as well and I will tell you that technique let me just uh, now turn off the grid lines I will go to view tab and I will click on grid lines so that now the grid lines is being not shown and I will do some more formatting here so that uh, it should looks like neat and clean all right right okay so now we are required uh, to create uh, one column chart and for that what we will do is we will select the years and the total column these two columns and I will press alt F1 so that I can get the column chart and I will just remove the years from it and I will delete each of the object which is not required here so I don't need vertical axis horizontal axis not these grid lines as well I am not required these legends as well I need to make thick these column bars so I will right click format data series and I will just decrease the gap with percentage from each from here and I will make this chart resize so that I can align it properly right just here let uh, the donor chart is moving interactively and showing each of the year product wise breakup sales 
right whereas uh, the column chart is not being very much interactive and what we are required is that whenever we change the year uh, that particular data label should be shown here in the column chart and it should be dynamic so I will be using that one more helper column I am just naming it as helper column you can give any other name if you would like to and I will create a logic here if ROS L8 is equal to cell L3 then give me the total number otherwise give me zero so this is very basic formula uh, I have used ROS function to generate the serial number dynamic and I will check that serial number with the cell L3 and then if the logic is correct the total value will be shown as a data label on the column chart if not then zero and let me just copy and paste the entire formula here and as we can see that the ninth year in our data is represent 2008 and now we will use this column as in as in the data labels here so chart and I will go to select data and I will click on add so I will be adding one more series here which is name helper column and the values here is the column s and I will make this particular I will make this particular column as overlap and I will enable that particular column data labels okay now the zero has been shown here we need to hide the zero here so I will just right click go to format data labels and uh, here on the number so I will select the custom and in the custom I will define a name I have selected this second type which is not showing the zero here only showing which is value which is greater than zero and I will also make this particular format as uh, same design same color okay and now as you can see that when I press the scroll bar now the donor chart is working right which shows the year wise allocation of product wise breakup of that particular year our title is being now dynamic uh, and whenever I click on any year the column chart is also interactive and dynamic as it shows that on which year we are currently and uh, how much the total amount is is being as a sales okay so this is how we can create uh, dynamic and int interactive charts useful for a dashboard so 